There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Time to chow down. Hash browns are just like so good. Now we're gonna go head over to I think it's like Office Max and get some sticker paper, get some heat transfer paper so we can make some totes today and some stickers. So I'm super excited that we're gonna head over there now and then we'll probably go and get that stuff made. So let's go. All right, we got them. So I decided to go with just the matte sticker paper this time around and then to actually get more of the print paper the matte photo paper i should say so that's what i got i didn't end up getting the heat press paper just because i'm a little weary on doing that i am gonna try and make my own stickers and i'm a little nervous but we're gonna give it a shot today i just feel like a good shop opening needs a few good stickers so anyways we're gonna go home and get this all moving forward make a few stickers, see how it goes, and we'll go from there. <laughs> okay, bye. Just eating a cookie, listening to a morbid podcast, and yeah, taking a break. Let's see, it's four four o'clock right now. Been here since like noon, maybe one. So the footprints were only one foot, huh? Um, that comes back. Draw this in your style. Turned out really good. I really love it. So I posted it on Instagram just now, and I'm just really excited to see how people interpret that drawing and make it their own. I just wanted to make it super funky, really different. I added like the checker print. I really loved the yellow, the red, and the blue. Those different colors working together is just. Mm, chef's kiss. Now for the rest of the day, I might make a few stickers or something. I might, I made a couple yesterday that I liked, but it's really hard to make stickers I've noticed in comparison to prints. A sticker, it's a single item and it has to be pretty simple. 
and something that's appealing enough to put on a notebook or a laptop, something that communicates some kind of message. And the stickers I tend to like are, let me look, I have like a lot of cat stickers on my laptop, just random funky stuff. If I just made like a sticker of a cup or a teacup or something, are people interested in that? I don't know. I don't know. I, it's my first shop launch ever, so I don't really know what to expect. I don't know what the people like. I'm just going to put my stuff out there. If they like it, they like it. If they don't, at least I'll learn from it and know what to um, put in in the future and whatnot. So I'm going to make a couple stickers and we'll see what we come across. I'll try to come up with some ideas. So we got a package in the mail. My partner got me some more batteries for this camera because I didn't know that cameras have low battery life. It's either you deal with low storage on an iPhone or you deal with low battery life. But the cure is that you just buy a bunch of batteries and that's kind of how you go, you know, make it work. So I got the box here and we're gonna unpack it. <laughs> I'm using my TV as, as lighting. Let's see. So what we got? I always like unpacking videos because I just think they're fun. But so we got this off-brand battery because normal batteries are very expensive. <laughs> Pretty busted up the box. Aw, so petite. Nice. Got two of those. Is it too dark? We got this petite little USB. What else we got? Oh wow. This is nice. It'll charge both batteries at the same time. That's awesome. Because they take an eternity to charge. Pretty cool. We got some batteries. And oh yeah. We also got a screen protector. It has a phone on it, but it's supposed to be for the camera. So let's just make sure that that's the case. This is open and you just... Oh, that's so convenient. Okay, it is not for phone. And it came with three. Oh, dang. But anyways, so yeah, we unpacked these and they turned out really well. Little update on that drawing that I did. I ended up, so this is what it ended up looking like. I actually really like it. I'm still on the fence though about the colors. I like the reds, 
but the color of my sweater I'm still on the fence about. I'm not quite sure if I want to stick with that. I don't know, we'll see. But I do like it so far. this morning I've just been working on my website a little bit. I just want to make sure that my FAQs are pristine. Make sure that I have a good amount of information on here for when the shop actually launches. Otherwise I start my 9 to 5 at 10. So I'm just trying to uh, get some of the art stuff done before I do that. Hey you. Good morning. Nice outside, eh? Dylan made me a snowman. Oh, you can't see his nose. No, you but, can. Oh, his nose is like a big. It's like this far off his face. <laughs> really? Yeah. He's so like cute. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. It is currently January nineteenth. It is a snowy day out. Dylan actually built me a snowman outside. And I love him. But yeah, so today, well let me talk about yesterday because I did a lot yesterday. So we were able to put the 
not the shop up, but we were able to publish the website and get that up. So indiechip.art is the um, URL for that. So I am so happy with the, how that actually turned out. It took me a long time to figure out what I wanted for that site. I posted that the shop update will be on in February. I didn't give a specific date, but at least people know that it's coming. And yeah, let me see what I made yesterday. So what I did was I grabbed that sketchbook drawing that I have, this one, and I made this into a print. And what I did was I took a picture, well technically I scanned it on my printer. I put the scan of it on my iPad on Procreate and just traced it. Um, it turned out so crisp and so I just fixed it up a little bit too because I didn't realize that when I made that drawing the person had two left feet so <laughs> like the shoe was on incorrectly on the right foot and I did not know that at all but people started to comment on the post so um, that sometimes you just make art and you don't even notice the things that you do so <laughs> but anyways I corrected that in the print so she does have the correct shoes on and oh car so I, I came up with this I don't know if you'll be able to see it it's incredibly like not that it's real looking because it's it's not like you, you know you can tell it's a drawing but it's not like my art style at all yeah so sometimes when I'm drawing with a reference I will unintentionally make the drawing as realistic as possible according to said reference. So like in this case I had used a, another beetle as the reference and I tried to get the color just perfect and because of that the drawing doesn't match at all with my art style. It's not like me um, and honestly I don't know if people would want a realistic beetle sticker so I'm going to try and remake that sometime today because I feel like beetles are just so cool looking. I would love to have a print, a beetle print. So I'm going to make a beetle print, or a bug print at least, and maybe a beetle sticker is what I'm thinking and I'm so excited. When it comes to me as an artist, I started out drawing realistic portraits of people and so I never really got into the realm of, you know, making my own characters and creating an art style necessarily because, like I said, when there's a reference and I'm drawing from looking at a person, I want to make the person on the drawing as close to the reference as possible. I'm going to try not to do that today. I'm going to try and make the drawing and have fun with it be loose. Um, otherwise, today I am pretty much just making some more stickers, making some more prints, getting those set up, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah.
Hello. So today we are going to go to a cafe and make some drawings. We're going to work on making some more um, prints and stickers and all that fun stuff. See what we can do and then also edit this video. So lots of stuff that we're going to work on, but I am hoping to get a lot done. Good morning. Just popping in just to thank you guys for watching and a big thank you to those who actually watched until the end. But I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one.